research parasites, uh, mostly of animals. We do some work with human parasites as well. Um, but uh, over the years, most of the work has been with animal parasites. And parasites are pretty much um, everywhere in all animals. Uh, and if we look back evolutionarily, uh, as long as an animal has been recognizable as such an animal, it has been infected with parasites. So the parasites have co-evolved with, with the animals as we know them. In order to optimize uh, productivity uh, of our livestock and, uh, and uh, also their health, in addition to their productivity, um, we have to do something to help control the levels of parasites that they become infected with. And the only practical means we have to do that is with deworming drugs. And because the drugs are relatively inexpensive, they're, they're very effective, they're very safe, um, that over the years, uh, farmers st um, really started for forgetting about all the things that their grandfathers used to do, um, and they started becoming just totally reliant on the drugs. Um, and so overuse of these drugs over several decades has now led to the point where the worms have become resistant to those drugs. And so the drugs um, are much less effective and in some cases not effective at all. We're already seeing the worst case scenario playing out. Um, it's, it's, it's in goats particularly, which have the worst problem with drug resistance and parasites, we see quite frequently farms have resistance to all dewormers. And, and, uh, and in fact, what they've done is they've gotten to the point where they could not control the effects of the parasites, and they decided just to go out of business because it was no longer a profitable operation. So, but there are things, luckily there are things that we can do. The most basic thing is simply use less of these drugs and use them more selectively. Um, and so we're, so we're trying to encourage um, a different thought process on how to use the drugs. We're still, we're still recommending that drugs be used, but that they be used uh, kind of in a more intelligent, more, more strategic manner uh, where, we, where we target the treatments to the animals that need to be treated rather than treating every animal on a frequent interval. So in order to need, need uh, drugs less often, um, there are things we can do. And one of those things is simply manage our, our animals a little bit differently on the pastures. Instead of having, giving the animals access to the full pasture, we break up the pasture into smaller units with some fencing. And then, um, and then they can be moved and, and kind of rotated across from pasture to pasture. What this does is uh, it allows the pasture to rest for a while before the animals have to come back to it, uh, which, which allows some of the parasites that are out there to die off. You know, eventually, with any if you use a drug to kill an organism, whether it's a bacteria, a virus, or a parasite, eventually you probably will get drug resistance. But how rapid that occurs, whether it occurs you know, very, very quickly, or occurs over several years, or occurs over several decades or more, will be determined on how the drug is used.